<laughs> the U.S. scientists who created the first living robots say the life forms known as xenobots can now reproduce. Oh, no. And in a way not seen in plants and animals. Hmm. Formed from the stem cells of the African clawed, clawed frog. Mm. Huh. Okay. Okay, so these were formed from stem cells of the African clawed frog. Clawed frog. Xenopus lavis, from which it takes its name. Xenobots are less than a millimeter wide. <clears throat> the tiny blobs were first unveiled in 2020 after experiments showed that they could move, work together in groups, and self-heal. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? This is bad. This it, is like Borg technology. Yeah, and I, I looked up pictures. <clears throat> it's a frog with, with claws. Mm -hmm. So now I just see an army of frogs with claws hopping down your main street headed your way. Are these the kind of uh, little things that they can inject into your body and they'll heal certain things in your body? That I don't know. Hmm. I just know that we're going to have an army of hmm. robotic clawed frogs. That can reproduce. That can re... Now, the scientists that developed them at the University of Vermont, Tufts University, and Harvard's uh, Weiss, Universe, Weiss Institute for Biological Inspired Engineering <clears throat> said they've discovered an entirely new form of biological reproduction different from any animal or plant known to science. Ah, oh, that sounds safe. It doesn't that sound great? This that sounds, sounds really good. This, this sounds like a show, December 2nd, 2021, Pat yeah. Gray Unleashed. You might want to bookmark... Because yeah. it feels like this is going to make uh, our concern over COVID uh, <laughs> mean nothing in a few uh, years. That's for sure. <laughs> when the army of robotic clawed frogs, at least it looks like they're not going to have opposable thumbs. So that's helpful. Uh, professor of biology and director of the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts University, Michael Levin, said, I was astounded by it. Yeah. Hmm. Frogs <laughs> have a way of reproducing that they normally use, but when you liberate the cells from the rest of the embryo and you give them a chance to figure out how to be in a new environment, oh. not only do they figure out a way to move, but they also figure out, apparently, a new way to reproduce. Yeah. This is from Jurassic Park. It's terrifying, dude. When What's-His-Face says, Life Find finds a way. way. Life finds a way. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> The C-shaped parent xenobots collect and compress loose stem cells together into piles which can mature into offspring. Oh, okay, well that sounds healthy, good. Stem cells are unspecialized <clears throat> cells that have the ability to develop into different cell types. That's why, you know, the stem cell thing is at one point so exciting but also mm -hmm. so Dang dangerous, dangerous. and a uh, concern. To make the xenobots, the researchers scraped living stem cells from frog embryos and left them to incubate. There's no manipulation of genes involved. Apparently, then this thing just does its deal and reproduces. Nice. That's what could go wrong. Terrifying.